Okay, Jason, no pressure, but I think some high school ski racers are going to be paying extra attention to this forecast. Well, the key word from Ann was man-made. Yeah, yes. Because there's just nothing out there. Right. I mean, I mean, please don't come after the messenger. I mean, it was 40-something degrees today. The sun was out. Snow was melting all over the place. This is not ideal for January. It's, no rain, though. Uh, right. <laughs> we didn't, didn't have that. Uh, we're much colder overnight, though. So, like I said, man-made. Not bad for January, but not great if you're a snow lover. And we are drying out for a change after we had that system come through, mostly southern Maine. Currently, it, I mean, this time of the year, it should be a lot colder than this. 30s and 20s, but it's still chilly. Uh, snow going on mostly up in the county here. You see that band moving south of Presque Isle. That's pretty much it, though. Some clouds around southern Maine. Uh, the real cold air is still up in Canada, but there is a cold front that's going to be moving through to kind of reinforce the chilly air tonight. As I'll show you in the hour by hour wind chill, this is for your Sunday. So you notice waking up to negative numbers, Caribou, Greenville, Millinocket. Uh, now tomorrow is going to be cooler than it was today. Notice that these wind chill numbers are not terrible, especially southern Maine. Chilly up in Caribou and Millinocket. We get through the afternoon. And then the sun comes out, obviously wind chill, not as much of a factor, but we're still in the teens in Augusta. Let's do it hour by hour to plan your Saturday evening. If you're going out for dinner, it looks clear, dry. Temps in the 20s, a wind picking up a little bit, 16 up in Greenville. And then tomorrow morning, watch here from middle of the day and afternoon, 30. So another day that's going to be by January standards on the mild side. And when I say mild, well, you think that's mild. Wait until we get to late Thursday into Friday. The next storm to come through, here's an area of low pressure spinning in the Ohio Valley, and this one looks to be starting off as a mix and then changing to all rain on Friday. This is an inland track storm, and that is not good news for the snow lovers. And this is January. Look at these numbers here. We expect numbers in the 20s for highs, maybe, definitely low 30s, but look at by Friday and Saturday, 41 and 44. That's the next storm, and it is wet, not white. How about the seas? Two to four feet for the Mariners. Water temp 43. Small craft advisory is up. How about the forecast the next seven days? And it's a double edged sword. We, we, we want to help with the heating costs, right? So that's, that's good news here. We're not seeing any major Arctic outbreaks, uh, but the snow lovers, the ski resorts, any, the winter sports are in, in, in dire need, and it does not look good with another mostly rainstorm by Friday, Saturday. Same thing at the coast. We're going to run for 40 again. So we did that today again on Monday. We cooled down for Wednesday, but we're right back up mid 40s and I would not take 50s out of the equation for next weekend with a rainstorm. Another rainstorm here in winter. I, I, I think we've had more rainstorms than snowstorms. Feels like it. Uh, and it, so it's good for the heating bill. It's really bad for winter sports. Yeah, well, Jason, we're going to have to keep tracking that and maybe hope yeah. for some flakes soon. Yeah, and at 11 o'clock, I'll look more in detail about the extended outlook for those temperatures for you. Good. All right. Well, I know the skiers and snowboarders will be waiting for that one. Yes. Thanks, Jason.